<laughs> YouTube! Welcome back to another episode of The Bottom Table. In this series, you can send in your terrible replays from Master Do and take part with your horrible decklist. Today, we've got a pretty bad decklist that used to be good once upon a time. It's... Infernality. Infernality. I think called OCG. Infernity! I think Infernity is insanely funny to play because it forces people to sit through a five hour combo with a great end board that's basically unbreakable unless you use something like Lava Golem. LOL. He put that in parentheses in a new paragraph, lol. The idea is to empty your hand ASAP and get a loop going of being able to keep resummoning Infernity Archfiend in multiple ways. You can do cool things like summoning Double Trish and Enter Blathnir to empty your opponent's hand or making the fattest Apollosa with Baron and Infernity Barriers. Alright, replay number one. Show me what infernalities can do. This is the deck focused on, like uh, was mentioned, emptying your hand. The whole gimmick is that you have powerful monster effects that activate by uh, not having cards in your hand. They all have unique effects that way. This is why we're setting everything. Especially summoning out Conjurer from the graveyard because we control no cards in our hand, which really, as you can see, conflicts quite badly with Called by the Grave. Uh, now, typically, I think this is what the uh, modern, quote-unquote, take of Infernity is. It's basically, unironically, Cherubini Turbo. If you go Cherubini, you can send Fiendish Rhino Warrior to send Sage to send Archfiend. So, any way to get into a link to uh, Cherubini, plus a Revival card like Monster Reborn, or Creepy Little Punk, or Link Succession, uh, allows you to bring back the Archfiend, and then you just go from there. So here we went into the Garas, and uh, now we're gonna go into Necromancer. And this is where the loop begins. Necro brings back Archfiend. Archfiend searches Lawn Chair. Lawn Chair brings back Necro and Archfiend, etc, etc. So let's see what kind of field we're gonna end on here. Okay, so we got Infernity Sage. We already have Revival uh, set there. It's Creepy Little Punk, so, you know, we can kind of uh, bypass that part here. So, Infernity Sage also sends another Infernity Monster. So, you can see here we have basically what looks like it's an empty field, but it's not. We have a full graveyard of Infernity Monsters. So, Creepy Little Punk brings back Archfiend. Brings it back from the Banish Zone as well, by the way. And I think it summons it from your hand, too. And now Archfiend, not once per turn, searches for an Infernity card. It brings back Infernity Lawn Chair. Which, surprisingly, is not a once per turn clause, because who would have anticipated that in the year 2012 or whatever, we would have needed ones per turns. Infernity Sage is also a tuner, by the way, so that's how you keep uh, that little loop going. And there's another lawn chair. It's at, uh, it's at two. Yeah, they brought it back to two recently. Why? Well, because this was going to be a good idea. All right, bringing back Wild Card and Necromancer. So we have another Synchro play here. We're going to go into Borrow Lord Savage Dragon. Nice and thick because of the Saryuja. And then Archfiend is brought back once again, and we can finally search for our Omni Negate. If you don't know what Infernity Barrier does, if you control an attack position Infernity monster, you can negate and destroy any activation of a monster spell trap card your opponent uses. Alright, we're playing against DDD. I don't know why we're negating the field spell, uh, to be honest with you. That, that, uh, that doesn't really do anything by itself. Okay, uh, so now they're gonna try and... Okay, okay we're just gonna... Listen, I'm not here to criticize. It's Infernity. Okay, Infernity Brain, once they've gone through a full combo and done their entire spiel, like, listen, I understand. All right, like, just negate. Like, like, we're not, just close your eyes. La 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 la, I can't hear you negating all your cards. It's like Drytron, but really bad. Yep, yep, here's another monster effect. We're gonna use Call by the Grave to banish the discard for cost and Apollosa negate the Lamia. Oh, we're not gonna negate the Lamia? Oh, we're just gonna let the opponent have a Lamia. Yeah, surely they can't do anything with just a Lamia on the field in attack position, surely. Yes, okay. Well, that's to give you a demonstration of what the idea is with Inferni. What is this deck supposed to do? Well, that's it. It's Cherubity Turbo into Archfiend Loops. That is how the deck functions. Alright, now you might be wondering, what does Inferni do? when things don't go really your way. So, what have we got here? We've got, it appears to be a good hand. I think this makes, uh, I, th I think this makes uh, Cherubini. Oh God, all right, your opponent is going to have, is gonna go first here. Yeah, so, 
question. I'm playing Infernity. I went first. I You didn't have any hand traps. I won the game, right? Pretty easy. All right, let's see what actually happens when your opponent is is, is, is competent and plays a meta deck and etc, etc. How, do, how does it really work out? Let's find out. Our opponent's playing Preda Despia. Maybe arguably not the best version of Despia, but a deck nonetheless. All right, our opponent's finally going to end their turn here. Let's see what they got. We got a Preda Planning. We got a Pre we got a Branded Banishment. We got an Omni Gate. We got a Mirror Jade. We got Double Super Poly and an Ash Moss. Can Infernity win? <laughs> right, Suchinoko, creepy little punk, good draw. Infernity Sage. Our opponent's going to fuse away our two monsters on the field. Shock Horror, that's unfortunate. Activate creepy little punk, no Archfiend access. So, I mean, I don't know what bringing back Infernity Sage really does. Uh, they are going to revive the banishment target of uh, Albion and then fusing into another Dracostopia. Is he once per turn? I don't know, maybe not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yep, pass. End phase Super Poly. Our own field to go into <laughs> Starving Venom Preda Power Fusion Dragon. Cards that were named by 10-year-olds. Let's go. Gotta be my favorite card type in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god, that's a that's a Cyframe driver. I'm gonna tribute summon it. Sick. Alright, well, that is going to be uh basically uh, how much is that? 66, 25. Can I do math? Can I do math? Is this game? It is game. Okay, yep, there he goes. GG. It gives you an idea of what Infernity does when it loses. Now, you might be wondering, can Infernity play through Disruption? I don't know, maybe it can, we'll see. Let's have a look here. We're dueling against 9527. Let's just check the ranking here. Gold 3, Gold 3 Infernity player. <laughs> ah, that's why Call by the Grave is fine. Because you have to special summon before setting your cards. With e -Telly specifically. I don't even think there's any other possible way to special summon in this deck. Uh, but sure, I can absolutely see Call by the Grave just not working sometimes because you have to set your hand. Uh, Punk Engine, very good here because it, it allows you to um, turbo into Cherubini very easily. e Tally special Zyaman, add... Can Zyaman add Zyaman? I, I think Zyaman can add Zyaman. Oh no, it doesn't add Zyaman. Maybe there's another level 3 or something? I guess you just go Foxy Tune, summon another Zyaman. Empties your hand and you get two level 3s for the uh, Cherubini play here. Alright, what are we doing now? We're searching Lawn Chair... Uh, what kind of path will we be taking here? Okay, always start your combo off with Cherubini. That's the best way to play the deck, apparently. We're gonna go Fiendish Rhino Woya, sending Infernity Sage. And Sage sends another uh, Infernity monster, which is double Necromancer. Necromancer special summons from the graveyard, by the way. Not a hard once per turn. So we're gonna bring back one Sage. Uh, probably use these and then use the other Necromancer. With okay, there's the Trishula he was talking about. All right, I'm a banish a hand and a grave, I see. Prod of Prosperity, not bad. Uh, bring back Archfiend. What's this going to be? Lawn Chair. Now you can... Oh, okay. Inferni Mirage. I like it. Uh, Saryuja. Not using the draw effect. I think that was three material, right? Three material uh, Saryuja, who actually has the effect to special summon from the hand when not using four materials, but three. And guess what Mirage does? Mirage special summons two Inferni monsters from your graveyard. It's just Lawn Chair, but as a monster. And... Yeah, we're gonna do our little loops again. Our opponents had enough, and that was through two disruptions. Not bad. Final replay here. What's this looking like? Absolutely, that's a good hand, isn't it? Normal summon Archfiend or Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Oh, we're going second. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can Infernity go second? Ah, question mark. Let's find out. Our opponent's playing Dark Magicians. Oh my god, I fucking love Yugi! Illusion of Chaos uses the effect to return itself. Send, go for Magician Soul, special summon the- Is that Dark Magician? I heckin love Dark Magician. Special summons out Dark Magician and bond between teacher and student. Summons out Dark, Mag uh, Dark Magician Girl and sets a Dark Magic attack. I feel like you're supposed to go for Dark Burning Magic or something, but it is gold for. It is, after all, just gold for. Alright, we're gonna set some cards here. Our opponent's flipping up a turtle soul because they are going to... Special Dark Magician from the hand. Yep. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Foxy Tune Effect. Discard itself with Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Summon another Zayaman. Send the Necromancer. Lawn Chair. Discard Archfiend. Going into Luigi Cherubini. Uh, really don't care about that uh, potential call by the grave, huh? Okay, I see you. We have a revival. It's Link Succession. Adding a Infernity Sage here. Normal summoning. Oh, we didn't use our normal summon. Sick. Oh, send Conjurer. Okay. Uh, Conjurer revives itself. And I think he can go in. Oh! Trishul. Oh my god. Is this going to... No. 
So did you know that Eternal Soul had the second effect? <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. And there it is. Infernity to the moon, baby. Well, here's the deck list. What does an Infernity deck look like in 2023? As mentioned, you're basically trying to turbo into Luigi Cherubini as fast as you can. It's the best card in your deck because it sets up your graveyard oh so well through the effect of Sage, Rhino, and Archfiend. 40 card consistency. E-Telly, Void Apocalypse, I guess there's a couple of way, different ways to play this. Maxing out on those revivals with things like Creepy Punk, Double Launcher, Monster Reborn, and okay, only old 2 succession. Uh, I don't like the number of um, Conjurers and Wildcats you're playing. I feel like I'd rather cut that down and just play more copies of Jackal open Suchinoko. Uh, but other than that, it looks like pre is pretty good. It's it's Infernity. It's Infernity. I guess instead of playing three barrier, you can definitely cut that down to like some defensive cards. We probably need some go second cards in this deck. Maybe something like an evenly match would go really well. But yes, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the bottom table. Remember, wait till the end of this video to find out how you can send in your replays. And until next time, adios. So you want to take part on the bottom table? Do you think you have what it takes to finally set up your combo on turn 5? Or set up an unbreakable field of 1.7 negates using 4 cards? Then look no further. The bottom table is the series for you. Create a short paragraph or two describing what your deck is, how it functions, and send in a clear screenshot of your deck list using the in-game Master Duel deck editor or the Yu-Gi-Oh card database, as well as your Master Duel player ID, which replays that you are trying to showcase, email, replay, Please at farfa.xyz and show us what you can do. This has been The Bottom Table. <laughs>